The Sikh Empire, also Sikh Khalsa Raj, Sarkar -i Khalsa or Punjab, Punjab Empire, was a major power in the Indian subcontinent, formed under the leadership of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, who established a secular empire based in the Punjab. The empire existed from 1799, when Ranjit Singh captured Lahore, to 1849, and was forged on the foundations of the Khalsa from a collection of autonomous Sikh missiles. At its peak in the 19th century, the empire extended from the Khyber Pass in the west to western Tibet in the east, and from Mithingkot in the south to Kashmir in the north. The religious demography of the Sikh empire was Muslim 74%, Sikh 3%, Hindu 23%. The population was 3.5 million. It was the last major region of the Indian subcontinent to be annexed by the British. The foundations of the Sikh Empire can be traced to as early as 1707, the year of Aurangzeb's death and the start of the downfall of the Mughal Empire. With the Mughals significantly weakened, the Sikh army, known as the Dal Khalsa, a rearrangement of the Khalsa inaugurated by Guru Gobind Singh, led expeditions against them and the Afghans in the west. This led to a growth of the army which split into different confederacies or semi-independent missiles. Each of these component armies controlled different areas and cities. However, in the period from 1762 to 1799, Sikh commanders of the missiles appeared to be coming into their own as independent warlords. The formation of the empire began with the capture of Lahore, by Ranjit Singh, from its Afghan ruler, Zaman Shah Durrani, and the subsequent and progressive expulsion of Afghans from the Punjab, by defeating them in the Afghan Sikh wars, and the unification of the separate Sikh missiles. Ranjit Singh was proclaimed as Maharaja of the Punjab on 12 April 1801, to coincide with Vaisakhi, creating a unified political state. Sahib Singh Bedi, a descendant of Guru Nanak, conducted the coronation. Ranjit Singh rose to power in a very short period, from a leader of a single MISL to finally becoming the Maharaja of Punjab. He began to modernize his army, using the latest training as well as weapons and artillery. After the death of Ranjit Singh, the empire was weakened by internal divisions and political mismanagement. Finally, by 1849 the state was dissolved after the defeat in the Anglo-Sikh Wars. The Sikh empire was divided into four provinces, Lahore, in Punjab, which became the Sikh capital, Multan, also in Punjab, Peshawar and Kashmir from 1799 to 1849. History Topic. Background The Sikh religion began around the time of the conquest of northern India by Babur, the founder of the Mughal Empire. His conquering grandson, Akbar the Great, supported religious freedom and after visiting the Langar of Guru Amar Das got a favourable impression of Sikhism. As a result of his visit he donated land to the Langar and the Mughals did not have any conflict with Sikh gurus until his death in 1605. His successor Jahangir, however, saw the Sikhs as a political threat. He ordered Guru Arjan Dev, who had been arrested for supporting the rebellious Khusrau Mirza, to change the passage about Islam in the Adi Granth. When the Guru refused, Jahangir ordered him to be put to death by torture. Guru Aryan Dev's martyrdom led to the sixth Guru, Guru Hargobind, declaring Sikh sovereignty in the creation of the Akal Takht and the establishment of a fort to defend Amritsar. Jahangir attempted to assert authority over the Sikhs by jailing Guru Hargobind at Gwalior, but released him after a number of years when he no longer felt threatened. The Sikh community did not have any further issues with the Mughal Empire until the death of Jahangir in 1627. The succeeding son of Jahangir, Shah Jahan, took offence at Guru Hargobind's sovereignty. And after a series of assaults on Amritsar forced the Sikhs to retreat to the Savalik Hills, the next Guru, Guru Har Rai, maintained the Guruship in these hills by defeating local attempts to seize Sikh land and playing a neutral role in the power struggle between two of the sons of Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb and Dar Ashiko, for control of the Mughal Empire. The ninth Guru, Guru Teg Bahadur, moved the Sikh community to Anandpur and travelled extensively to visit and preach in defiance of Aurangzeb, who attempted to install Ram Rai as new Guru. Guru Teg Bahadur aided Kashmiri Pandits in avoiding conversion to Islam and was arrested by Aurangzeb. When offered a choice between conversion to Islam and death, he chose to die rather than compromise his principles and was executed. Guru Gobind Singh assumed the Guruship in 1675 and to avoid battles with Savalik Hill Rajas moved the Guruship to Panta. 
There he built a large fort to protect the city and garrisoned an army to protect it. The growing power of the Sikh community alarmed the Savalik Hill Rajas who attempted to attack the city but Guru Gobind Singh's forces routed them at the Battle of Bangani. He moved on to Anandpur and established the Khalsa, a collective army of baptized Sikhs, on 30 March 1699. The establishment of the Khalsa united the Sikh community against various Mughal-backed claimants to the Guruship. In 1701, a combined army of the Savalik Hill Rajas and the Mughals under Wazir Khan attacked Anandpur. The Khalsa retreated but regrouped to defeat the Mughals at the Battle of Muktsar. In 1707, Guru Gobind Singh accepted an invitation by Aurangzeb's successor Bahadur Shah I to meet him. The meeting took place at Agra on the 23rd of July 1707. In August 1708, Guru Gobind Singh visited Nanded, the seat of Mughal Telangana Subha. There he met a Bairagi recluse, Mado Das, and converted him to Sikhism, giving him a new name, Banda Singh, Banda Singh Bahadur (1670–1716), also known as Lakman Das, Lakman Dev, and Mado Das. Met Guru Gobind Singh at Nanded and adopted the Sikh religion. A short time before his death, Guru Gobind Singh ordered him to reconquer Punjab region and gave him a letter that commanded all Sikhs to join him. After two years of gaining supporters, Banda Singh Bahadur initiated an agrarian uprising by breaking up the large estates of Zamindar families and distributing the land to the poor peasants who farmed the land. Banda Singh Bahadur started his rebellion with the defeat of Mughal armies at Samana and Sadora and the rebellion culminated in the defeat of Sirhind. During the rebellion, Banda Singh Bahadur made a point of destroying the cities in which Mughals had been cruel to the supporters of Guru Gobind Singh. He executed Wazir Khan in revenge for the deaths of Guru Gobind Singh's sons and Pir Budu Shah after the Sikh victory at Sirhind. He ruled the territory between the Sutlej River and the Yamuna River, established a capital in the Himalayas at Logar and struck coinage in the names of Guru Nanak and Guru Gobind Singh. In 1716, his army was defeated by the Mughals after he attempted to defend his fort at Gurdas Nangal. He was captured along with 700 of his men and sent to Delhi, where they were all tortured and executed after refusing to convert to Islam. <laughs> Formation of the Sikh Empire <laughs> Start The formal start of the Sikh Empire began with the merger of these missiles. By the time of coronation of Ranjit Singh in 1801, creating a unified political state. All the MISL leaders, who were affiliated with the army, were the nobility with usually long and prestigious family backgrounds in Sikh history. The main geographical footprint of the empire was from the Punjab region to Khyber Pass in the west, to Kashmir in the north, Sindh in the south, and Tibet in the east. The religious demography of the Sikh empire was Muslim 74%, Sikh 3%, Hindu 23%. The population was 3.5 million according to Amarinder Singh S the last sunset the rise and fall of the Lahore Durbar. In 1799 Ranjit Singh moved the capital to Lahore from Gujranwala where it had been established in 1763 by his grandfather Sharat Singh. Topic End of the Sikh Empire After Ranjit Singh's death in 1839, the empire was severely weakened by internal divisions and political mismanagement. This opportunity was used by the British East India Company to launch the Anglo-Sikh Wars. The Battle of Ferozeshah in 1845 marked many turning points. The British encountered the Punjab army, opening with a gun duel in which the Sikhs had the better of the British artillery. As the British made advances, Europeans in their army were especially targeted, as the Sikhs believed if the army became demoralized, the backbone of the enemy's position would be broken. The fighting continued throughout the night. The British position grew graver as the night wore on and suffered terrible casualties with every single member of the Governor-General's staff either killed or wounded. Nevertheless, the British army took and held Ferozeshah. British General Sir James Hope Grant recorded, "...truly the night was one of gloom and forbidding and perhaps never in the annals of warfare has a British army on such a large scale been nearer to a defeat which would have involved annihilation." The reasons for the withdrawal of the Sikhs from Ferozeshah are contentious. 
Some believe that it was treachery of the non-Sikh high command of their own army which led to them marching away from a British force in a precarious and battered state. Others believe that a tactical withdrawal was the best policy. The Sikh Empire was finally dissolved at the end of the Second Anglo Sikh War in 1849 into separate princely states and the British province of Punjab. Eventually, a lieutenant governorship was formed in Lahore as a direct representative of the British Crown. <laughs> Geography The Punjab was a region straddling India and the Afghan Durrani Empire. The following modern-day political divisions made up the historical Sikh Empire. Punjab till Multan in south Parts of Punjab Punjab, Pakistan, with the capital Lahore, Lahore. Parts of Punjab, India Parts of Himachal Pradesh, India Jammu Division, Jammu and Kashmir, India and Pakistan Kashmir conquered the 5th of July 1819 to the 15th of March 1846 India Pakistan China Kashmir Valley occupied from 1819 to 1846 Gilgit Gilgit Baltistan Pakistan occupied from 1842 to 1846 Ladakh India Khyber Pass Afghanistan Pakistan Peshawar Pakistan taken in 1818 retaken in 1834 Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the federally administered tribal areas, Pakistan documented from Hazara taken in 1818, again in 1836 to Banu Jamrud district Khyber Agency, Pakistan was the westernmost limit of the Sikh Empire. The westward expansion was stopped in the Battle of Jamrud, in which the Afghans managed to kill the prominent Sikh general Hari Singh Nalwa in an offensive, though the Sikhs successfully held their position at their Jamrud fort. Ranjit Singh sent his general Sardar Bahadur Gulab Singh Pawan thereafter as reinforcement and he crushed the Pashtun rebellion harshly. In 1838, Ranjit Singh with his troops marched into Kabul to take part in the victory parade along with the British after restoring Shah Shoja to the Afghan throne at Kabul. Religious <inaudible> <inaudible> policy <inaudible> <inaudible> The Sikh Empire was idiosyncratic in that it allowed men from religions other than their own to rise to commanding positions of authority. A ban on cow slaughter, which can be related to Hindu sentiments, was universally imposed in the Sarkar Khalsaji. Ranjit Singh also donated huge amounts of gold for the construction of Hindu temples not only in his state, but also in the areas which were under the control of the Marathas, with whom Sikhs had a cordial relation. The Sikhs attempted not to offend the prejudices of Muslims, noted Baron von Hugel, the Austrian botanist and explorer, yet the Sikhs were described as harsh. In this regard, Masson's explanation is perhaps the most pertinent. Though compared to the Afghans, the Sikhs were mild and exerted a protecting influence, yet no advantages could compensate to their Mohammedan subjects. The idea of subjection to infidels, and the prohibition to slay kine, and to repeat the azan, or summons to prayer. Topic. Timeline 1699 Formation of the Khalsa by Guru Gobind Singh 1710–1716, Banda Singh defeats the Mughals and declares Khalsa rule. 1716–1738, Turbulence, no real ruler, Mughals take back the control for two decades but Sikhs engage in guerrilla warfare. 1733 to 1735 the khalsa accepts only to reject the confederal status given by mughals 1748 to 1757 afghan invasion of ahmad shah durrani 1757 to 1761 maratha rule with help of sikhs 1761 to 1767 recapture of punjab region by afghan in third battle of panipat 1763–1774, Sharat Singh Sukarchikia, Misaldar of Sukarchikia Misl, establishes himself in Gujranwala. 1764–1783, Baba Bagal Singh, Misaldar of Karoor Singhia Misl, imposes taxes on the Mughals. 1783 – Sikh occupation of Delhi and Red Fort. 1773, Ahmad Shah Durrani dies and his son Timur Shah launches several invasions into Punjab. 1774–1790, Maha Singh becomes Misaldar of the Sukarchikia Misl. 
1790–1801, Ranjit Singh becomes Misildar of the Sukarchikya MISL. 1799, formation of the Sikh Khalsa Army. The 12th of April 1801, coronation. The 27th of June 1839, reign of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The 1st of June 1813, Ranjit Singh is given the Kohinoor diamond. The 13th of July 1813, Battle of Atak, the Sikh Empire's first significant victory over the Durrani Empire. March 2 June 1818, Battle of Multan, the second battle in the Afghan Sikh Wars. 3 July 1819, Battle of Shapian 14 March 1823, Battle of Noshera 30 April 1837, Battle of Jamrud 27 June 1839 – 5 November 1840, Reign of Maharaja Karak Singh 5 November 1840 – 18 January 1841, Chand Corps is briefly regent. 18 January 1841 – 15 September 1843, Reign of Maharaja Sher Singh. May 1841 – August 1842, Sino-Sikh War. 15 September 1843 – 31 March 1849, Reign of Maharaja Duleep Singh. 1845–1846, First Anglo-Sikh War 1848–1849, Second Anglo-Sikh War See also History of Afghanistan History of Pakistan History of India History of Punjab Kapurtala State Aurangzeb Maratha Empire Mughal Empire Punjab Army References Citations Sources Heath, Ian 2005, The Sikh Army 1799–1849, Osprey Publishing UK, ISBN 1-84176-777-8 Kalsi, Sewa Singh 2005, Sikhism, Religions of the World, Chelsea House Publications, ISBN 978-0-7910-8098-6 Markovitz, Claude 2004, A History of Modern India, 1480–1950, London, England, Anthem Press, ISBN 978-1-84331-152-2 Justice, Phyllis G. 2004, Holy People of the World, A Cross-Cultural Encyclopedia, Vol. 3 ABC Clio, ISBN 978-1-57607-355-1 Johar, Surinder Singh 1975, Guru Teg Bahadur, University of Wisconsin-Madison Center for South Asian Studies, ISBN 81-7017-030-3 Singh, Pritam 2008, Federalism, Nationalism and Development, India and the Punjab Economy, Routledge, pp. 25-26, ISBN 978-0-415-45666-1 Nesbitt, Eleanor 2005, Sikhism, A Very Short Introduction, Oxford University Press, USA, p. 61, ISBN 978-0-19-280601-7 Further reading Volume 2, Evolution of Sikh Confederacies 1708 by Hari Ram Gupta, Munshiram Manoharlal Publishers. Date, 1999, ISBN 81-215-0540-2, 383 pages, illustrated. The Sikh Army 1799 Men at Arms, by Ian Heath, date, 2005, ISBN 1-84176-777-8. The Heritage of the Sikhs by Harbin Singh, date, 1994, ISBN 81-7304-064-8. Sikh Domination of the Mughal Empire, date, 2000, second edition. ISBN 81-215-0213-6. The Sikh Commonwealth or Rise and Fall of Sikh Missiles, date, 2001, revised edition. 
ISBN 81-215-0165-2. Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Lord of the Five Rivers, by Jean Marie Lafont, Oxford University Press. Date, 2002, ISBN 0 19 7 History of Punjab by Dr. L. M. Joshi and Dr. Fauja Singh. Topic: External links. Article on coins of the Sikh Empire. Sikh Confederacy. Confederacy of Punjab. Sikh Kingdom of Ranjit Singh. Battle of Jamrud.